approach both of these technologies in the same way that I would video or photography or text or any of the different mediums that we work across, um, the people who will engage with them are the people that we make them for. So for example, um, we made an experience, um, gosh, almost two years ago now, called Remembering Pearl Harbor. It was an educational and historical virtual reality experience that was meant to teach you about that moment in history and take you back to that time in as realistic of a way as we possibly could. Um, we launched it for the 75th anniversary of uh, the attack on Pearl Harbor uh, in 2016. And we partnered with two museums, um, the Museum in Washington, D.C. and the Intrepid here in uh, New York, and brought it to uh, their visitors on the day uh, and then you know, the, the following days um, around the anniversary. And I'll tell you, we had people of all age ranges. Um, we had made it purposefully uh, to be age appropriate for a younger audience, but we also wanted to get every single thing right so that if you were a veteran, you could go into that experience and say, yes, they nailed it. This is exactly what it was like to be there. And we succeeded in doing that. We had you know, everything from 13-year-old kids who really didn't know much about the, uh, that moment in history that came out learning more to veterans who had been there or had you know, been uh, you know, active at that time um, that saw it and said, you've really commemorated what my experience was in a very realistic way. So um, you know, I think uh, looking at these as like newfangled technologies that certain generations or certain demographics can't get into um, is not uh, you know, the most, I think, I think you won't get very far if you're looking at it that way. I would really encourage people to look at it as who are you trying to reach and what is the experience that's appropriate for them. Um, just one other quick anecdote I'll share is um, I produced Time's first AR issue, of, uh, of which was our optimism issue. It was uh, guest edited by Bill Gates. We worked on that with TJ's team. And um, we did a cover activation um, that allowed uh, users to see an animated infographic that told them more about our cover subject, which was not anything that we got into in the magazine. It was the only place you could get that information. And we received many letters about that particular AR activation, but one in particular from a grandmother in Texas who wrote to us telling us how she had showed it to her grandsons, not the other way around, and how much she appreciated the content, how engaging she found it to be, and how important she felt it was for her to share that experience with her grandkids.